Hey, what's up, y'all? And of course, welcome to another Alternative Actuals video. Uh, forgive me. Um, I'm not gonna say I seem off. I'm just a little tired. Oh, my sleeping schedule has been an absolute train wreck. But this week is my buffer week, so I'm actually taking melatonin to help balance myself out, uh, get back onto my regular sleeping schedule because there are a lot of things that I do during the week. But uh, that's besides the point. That's besides the point. I have a super fun video today, something that's actually technically true, but was never explored because unfortunately their solo run was canceled by DC comics uh, but i'm going to be talking about static and not only am i going to be talking about static i'm going to be talking about the child of static but before i dive into the details of this succulent and juicy video please be sure to like share and of course subscribe leave your comments down below let me know what you're thinking let me know what you're feeling and without further ado let's kind of just get into today's video so a lot of you already know who static is aka virgil hawking um the same static we've seen the static tv show static shock uh you already know the same static that's been around in Dakotaverse and was brought into DC Comics way back in the day. So one of the biggest things I actually want to talk about is Static. Well, a lot of people don't know about Static is there was a single point in time in which Static did have a child with Frida, but unfortunately we never got to see the totality of that child and the powers of the child bring to, I guess, come to full flourishing. Simply because one, the comic line was canceled shortly after they had that kid, and two, eventually as well, DC did reboot. So at that point we never knew or we never will find out or at least as of right now we don't know what happened to that child if you know static's gonna get access to that child again or is static gonna have a moment like wally west where he comes into the you know rebirth timeline and just be like oh my god i had a whole child and then i forgot about them and then blah 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 and like all this other stuff we never know we have no idea what's gonna happen to the child but however knowing me knowing how much i love in general just black characters knowing how much i love powerful black characters and especially knowing how much i love to theorize how powerful their kids could be let's talk about static's child now like i said despite the fact that we don't have much information about the child in itself simply because the comic line was canceled i'm going to try and find also too if i can locate that specific comic because not only was it canceled i think it was like borderline wiped out for some very odd reason because i am scouring the internet and i cannot find it but i know that comic exists because i did have this conversation with somebody else because i read it and that person read it but it seems like we can't find it so hopefully by the time this video comes up i'll be able to at least use the panels if i can't use the panels but somehow i find it after i make this video then i'll let you guys know uh what comic it was exactly in the description so look out for that but yes we already know the powers of static he is extremely extremely powerful static gained his abilities during what we call the big bang where basically his physiology was altered by a mutant genic explosion which caused him to take in powers of like the superconductive electromagnetism when he can send sources of electricity he can make electromagnetic fields he has um basically control machines or have electromagnetic levitation wavelength tooling mental resistance uh electrokinesis uh just different abilities that fall along that spectrum as well as enhanced healing uh, he actually is highly intelligent i'm not going to say he's particularly a genius per se but he's still on the higher end of the spectrum when it comes to his iq uh he's actually good when it comes to tactical analysis and he does speak multiple languages uh but for some reason he's able to actually learn multiple languages a lot quickly i think that has to do a lot with his powers and he's able to reroute his brain since your brain is ran on electrical impulse but that's besides it now we know that like i said as powerful as he is we already know that in comic books and in superhero movies and all this stuff the children of superheroes and supervillains who are powerful typically end up being just as powerful or even more powerful now i did say this in the black lightning video as well as in another video that i did a little while ago about the differences between static's power powers and uh, Black Lightning's powers is even though their powers are extremely closely related and almost identical they are a little different but nonetheless uh, Static does have the ability to pretty much at least at one point in time he did turn into pure physical energy because he had his powers further augmented um, now what makes this interesting is that if he were to have a child who even possessed his powers one his, his child would have all the powers of him everything that Static can do he can do but to such a greater degree because uh, usually when it comes to comic books when it comes to people with abilities for some reason when the person is initially introduced to a mutagenic i guess chemical of some sort eventually when it's passed down to a child i think because the body metabolizes it a lot better a lot more efficiently when it comes to reproducing uh, for some reason the power seems to be further cemented in their dna at least a lot more efficiently allowing them to access portions of their abilities that they had no idea they was able to do or maybe the parents had no access to because they gained it by secondhand means so this is something you got to think about so the child of static shock will be extremely 
extremely powerful, not only being able to like manipulate energy on the electromagnetic um, spectrum, but we might be able to see a child kind of combat or even use abilities similar to Spectrum in Marvel Comics, aka Monica Rambeau, where not only can she manipulate, say, electricity or things on the electromagnetic spectrum, but she can manipulate forms of magic just because she is that powerful. And the way she got her powers is not too different in which, you know, Static got her ability, I mean, his ability. So don't get me wrong, her abilities came from an explosion of experimental, I guess, uh, energy engine, which was tapping into an alternate dimension for power and then ultimately exploded, changed her DNA, gave her powers along the electromagnetic spectrum, which allows her to transform her body and for her to kind of give off powers along the spectrum as well. But also, we've seen that her powers have grown over the course of years simply because she was able to manipulate magic. She's able to kind of break down the concepts of different energies, whether it be from this dimension or another, and then somehow transform her body into it now that level of mastery can come like i said with the level of mutation but also with the level of time but the funny part is this child of static shock is going to have the balance of both now imagine living with the entire let's say they get to the same age around static 16 17 and then for 16 17 years you've had total control or you've had the ability to access your powers and hone them in and then imagine having a someone like static who is your parent who's teaching you how to manipulate your powers to the best of their abilities and then you'll start to be able to access more power because you still have the level of experience he did because you've had it since pretty much birth but also you'll still have all the abilities of your father who grew up to be extremely powerful who by dc comic standards had the same level of potential as black lightning as well as lightning herself which both of them were classified as having infinite electrical potential when it came to the amount of output power they could possibly do if they continue to train hone their abilities and all that stuff but we already know how every story changes the story when it comes to a lot of black characters and their powers and it really depends on who's writing the story but supposedly they had infinite potential to become even more powerful so the child of static shock would be no different if anything that potential would be further explored allowing them to tap into very exotic forms of energy and even energies that you know would not be native to the initial dc universe i guess spectrum so also it would kind of give them access to maybe manipulating uh the omega sanction for example i'm just giving a hypothetical scenario i'm not saying this is going to be absolutely true but being able to control and manipulate exotic forms of energy that is a form of exotic energy that is given off by i guess dark side specifically but energy would affect them differently at that point you'll be stepping into a whole different tier of power because there is energy between the multiverse that can be manipulated as well what we call in dc comics the bleed that is a form of energy and being able to have someone who is further augmented by the abilities of static who's able to i guess manipulate control exotic energies or different energies from the multiverse that exists within the DC universe, it'll be very interesting to see a child who can do that. And I think the child of Static Shock could do something very similar to that. Now, I could make the same hypothesis about Black Lightning's children. However, I think Lightning has kind of proved already how far her powers can go, even though she also has been retconned to be younger. So it's very weird to say, but ultimately, I still think the children can have that potential. Even their parents might have that potential, but due to how they receive their powers and the secondhand nature of it, like I said just a couple minutes ago, I don't think they'll be given that level of access to that level of power. But Static's child, who Static was even in the animated universe and the comic books, was deemed to be you know potentially one of the most powerful meta humans to kind of walk the face of the earth in terms of pure power alone i'm pretty sure he's going to have a child who's going to be able to tap into those different types of energies in the dc multiverse and remember energy is a byproduct of matter and when you have a certain level of energy or when you're able to you know manipulate a certain level of energy you can affect matter to some degree meaning if that child is powerful like really 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 powerful and then they actually can tap into into different forms of exotic energy or universal energy or cosmic energy even if it's a, if it's to some level you will eventually affecting reality to some point maybe not complete and total like reality manipulation or reality warping but to some degree you might be able to like you know alter reality in some way shape or form maybe not completely maybe you won't be able to time travel but maybe it'll be like on a smaller scale or maybe it might be in a very small limited area but nonetheless a certain amount of power in general 
can affect reality. And I think that's what a lot of people don't understand is think of it like this. Think of it like this. The weight of a star, right? The, the star gives off tons and tons and tons of energy when it comes to, you know, the amount of gas, the amount of heat, and also just the, the how young or how old the star is. You know, a, a super giant, for example, is like a little bit of an older star or like a little white dwarf is a younger star, you know, which is way heavier. The amount of heat, the amount of pressure and the amount of energy that it gives off does cause it to sit in space differently compared to something like a red giant, which is an older star, which gives us maybe not quite the same amount of energy, maybe not as powerful, but nonetheless, it does kind of occupy the same area of space, but it does it differently because stars weigh differently because the amount of energy they give off as a byproduct of their heat. So imagine something like that happening with the child aesthetic shock. It'll be out of control. A child that can literally manipulate just multiple aspects of the electromagnetic spectrum, a child that can manipulate magic, a child that can manipulate energy from the bleed because no energy will be inaccessible to them because now they not only have the accessibility of statics powers, but they have the accessibility of the universe's powers because their genes have just been so powerful in general. And if I remember correctly, there is a storyline in which Frida, I think, did temporarily have powers and they were saying like how there's hints of that mutation still lingering in her blood. But I think that got retconned as well. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I would have to check back about that one, but you can take that with a grain of salt. Just say there's a possibility that she might be receiving or the child might be receiving dual aspects of mutations from both parents, one primarily over the other, but you can definitely make an argument for it. But let me know what you think would happen with the child of static. Would they be just as powerful as static or even more powerful? Or do you feel like it'll be one of those situations like black lightning and lightning where they still have the same type of potential, the way that they use their power to just be a little different? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, please be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe. Leave your comments down below. And I hope to see you later on. Ooh, so.